Hey guys, so I'm back here, um, just kind of doing my first actual product review, um, and this one is going to be a skincare product review for um, the Ordinary brand. I know if you guys are definitely into the skincare world, then you definitely have heard of this brand, and if not, definitely check them out. I actually love a uh, a lot of their products actually um, I do have here currently with me I have about four products with me and I'm kinda go through um, each of them and kinda tell you the things that I do like about them rarely have any cons with the, the ordinary um, so let me just talk specifically about the ordinary the brand uh, for me um, got introduced to them probably about maybe mm, I would say maybe a year ago I got introduced to them and I was just you know of course doing my little research on what brands that you know have great reviews and actually show results of doing good things to the skin now I have dry skin so um, any kind of product that can bring some kind of hydration to my skin I am like where is it <laughs> you know give it to me and my skin is even even more like hydration so <laughs> um i came across the uh the brand the ordinary heard great reviews about it um one definitely probably the number one thing that i've that i that really attracted me to uh, the ordinary was definitely the price i think we can all agree that when you have some pretty good pr ingredients and um the price range is from like what i think the cheapest is maybe around five or six dollars don't quote me for real because i'm not actually looking at the website right now but i believe it's around that price i think I, until i think i saw the highest was maybe around 12 again don't quote me um <laughs> but i saw those prices and me being I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm low-key kind of cheap. I'm not even gonna lie about it. I was trying to go around it. Mm -mm. I'm low-key kind of cheap, you know. And if I could find any kind of deal or bundle or whatever <laughs> of savings, I am there. So um, I definitely love that about them. And again, the ingredients that I saw on their um, website, I'm not gonna lie, the ordinary. Um, I definitely read that it's, you know, typically for people who are a bit more experienced in the skincare game because of the fact that they have the ingredients that they have and that they show on a product. Unless you have actually read up on some of these ingredients, you're like, I'm sorry, what you said? Because they got, what, what is it? Hyaluronic niacinamide, retinol, retinoid, um, vitamin C, and, you know, things like that, ingredients like that, squalene, squal, squas, squat, squat, you know, <laughs> you're like, what language you speak of? What is that? You know, that was me. That was definitely me. I was like, I don't know what any of these, in, what is these words, you know, but, I definitely did my little research. Well, not my little research. I, I did research, you know. And, again, I have dry skin. So, I'm like, okay, let me just see what these ingredients do for your skin. It's specifically for dry skin. And, um, you know, I, I learned certain things here and there about that. And then from there, I was just like, you know what? Wow, this brand, the price and what the ingredients that they have. Like, hmm, this is... Is this too good to be true? Hold up. <laughs> but again, the reviews, you know, that I saw, um, it really, really turned me on to them. I'm giving them high praise here, as you can tell. I apologize about that. I should probably mute my phone. Make sense. Um, <laughs> so, okay. So, yeah. So, other thing about the brand as well, I love that they have glass containers like or bottles I should say um save the turtles okay so um I'm getting more into you know trying to be more aware of saving the planet or just you know try my best to not 
be a problem, you know, try to, you know, have some solutions, you know, and I love that they do have the glass. Glass is great for the environment. You can actually recycle again and again and again and again these glass bottles. So I definitely do appreciate that um, with this brand. I know I keep looking over here, but I'm just kind of looking at the packages. That's why. Um, so I guess let's kind of start with, with the products that I do have. I do want to say the first product that I actually used with the Ordinary was Squalene. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Is it Squalene? Squalus? Squat, squat. Um, <laughs> so that was actually the first product. I don't, unfortunately, have it right now with me because I done used all of that. I ain't going to lie to you. I, it's gone. <laughs> and the bottle is not here with me, unfortunately. But they do come in these, you know, little square boxes. comes in a square box. Um, and... I actually use that as it's an oil, so it's a natural uh, plant oil that you can use for your skin. It what it does or what it did for my skin, it really kind of uh, locked in that moisture. So you know, anytime that I kind of did my skincare routine, I would put that squalene squalene um, on my face, and it would really lock in that moisture. And, and that, and again, I have the dry skin. I have really like. I need moisture kind of skin, you know, that, you know, you put water on it and in 30 seconds, it's like, hello, I need water, hydration. Um, so the squalene actually really did help with that, which is why I say I don't got no more of it, I need to get more. Um, but then also I did a little bit more research with them to try to find different products as well. I got, um... The next product that I do have is the niacinamide. Oh, I think I said that right. Niacinamide with the zinc. Great product. Great. Want to make sure you see that. Great product. Love this product. Love this serum. Now, with niacinamide, I can definitely tell you. Um, now, this actually kind of reduces inflammation. Um, it helps with like redness. Now, I believe I have eczema. Um, I don't know for sure. Uh, haven't been necessarily to a dermatologist, you know, self diagnosis kind of person. Uh, but what I can definitely say is, um, I do try my best to, you know, after I get out the shower, I go ahead and do my skincare routine, like, right after, uh, while I still have, you know, you got a water on there, or I just kind of, like, spritz some rose water on my skin. Um, so the niacinamide, again, it helps with, you know, inflammation, eczema, um, you know, acne. I never really suffer from acne, but what it does really, really does for my, uh, for my skin, um, I know it also does, it minimizes the pores on there. Um, it keeps my skin smooth and moisturized, and, and I really, really love that. Like, I can definitely, I have definitely seen, uh, the difference in my skin as far as how smooth it is, as far as how dry, hydrating it looks, um, and again, I don't necessarily know if I have eczema, but, you know, because I haven't been to a dermatologist and, I mean, I only got money like that to go to a dermatologist, but maybe when I do, he can, he or she can confirm or not confirm, <laughs> um, so I, I definitely started with the nice and I probably been using it for maybe couple months now and again have definitely noticed a lot of bit more clearing of my skin um and just kind of um hydrating to my skin as well and the next thing that I do have is my hyaluronic acid now if you have dry skin this is Jesus in a bottle okay Jesus and hyaluronic hyal if I'm not saying this correctly, I'm sorry. <laughs> so with this uh, product, I love this product. This makes me feel like, it makes my face feel so moisturized and, and, and hydrated. And it, it is a hydrate. It's supposed to, you know, mainly supposed to hydrate your face. So what I have seen in research is that um, it does kind of get that moisture from the outside of just nature and kind of brings it to your face and kind of try to keep it there. 
Um, I know it does also help, you know, reduce the uh, ability and visibility of fine lines and wrinkles. Um, you know, again, retaining moisture to the skin. Dry skin definitely needs it. Um, and it also does have kind of have like a plumping effect to the skin, which I definitely do love. And I've definitely seen. I've been using hyaluronic acid uh, with the Ordinary for maybe about... Um... I would say maybe about almost a year. It's been almost a year. So I've definitely seen the, you know, the results of it. Um, so I definitely love, love that product. Love hyaluronic acid. Any kind of, any kind of skincare product that I try to use, if it, ha if it has hyaluronic acid in it, that is a big plus for me. And the fact that the ordinary just, you know, practically has it and it has, you know, 2% of it in here, like that is such a big plus for me, you know, as well. Um, another product that I have from them is the Grand Active Retinoid Emulsion. And it's actually another great product that they have here. And what I really love about this product, I know with retin retinoids, um, it does help with also fine lines, it helps with wrinkles as well. Um, it does also promote clear skin as well. Um, I know I definitely heard that it helps with like acne treatments and things like that. Um, for this product, I love the smell of it. It's kind of a creamy feel. Um, I don't know if it's me, but it kind of smells like coconut, but... That could just be me. Um, but I really, I really like the smell of it, the feel of it. Um, I've been using this for maybe two or three months now. Um, definitely seen results as well, um, as far as the clearing as well with the niacinamide. Um, again, great ingredients. Great ingredients that The Ordinary has. Now, one product that I can say that didn't really work for me with the ordinary or maybe it's just you know me being picky um is the vitamin c um i don't know if you guys can see that vitamin c a suspension 30 percent silicone i don't know if I, maybe i just didn't use it right or whatever but um i used it i believe let me see because it uh, tells you to a small amount at AM or the PM. It does prefer PM. Um, now, it does say it has a tingling sensation. Now, the first time that I did use it, I was very much like, what's happening? Um, and I did read tingling. When I thought tingling, I'm thinking like, peppermint spearmint tingling like oh this is minty kind of I don't know but no I was like this is not tingling this is low-key burning and then it's kind of it was kind of itchy so I was like okay listen what's happening here so I was like you know let me just give it another chance so I tried to do it um I tried to do another you know another day I was like let me try it and, um, I think, I don't know if I used it last, after I used everything else. Um, but yeah, it, for me it wasn't tingling, it was more of a burning sensation. But like a light burning, like I, I, I might just be overdramatic, but I'm overdramatic. But, um, it was kind of like a light tingling. Um, I think that's a male note. I'm sorry if y'all heard that. But, uh, light tingling, uh, light burning sensation, kind of itchy sensation. I don't like that. I didn't like that at all, and I just didn't feel like, I didn't feel safe using it. Um, but that was probably, that's probably the only product, that's definitely the only product that I got from The Ordinary where I was just like, mm. And again, I probably just used it wrong. Um, I probably just needed to continue using it. That's typically what it is. Your skin has to get used to whatever product you're using. But me being the over dramatic person that I am and just like, I mean, I was like, yeah, no, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm just not going to do that. <laughs> I'm just not going to use it. Um, but yeah, so those are the, the products that I have here that I use for the Ordinary. Again, a great product, 
great brand. Um, that's probably the vitamin C is the only product that I have that have any kind of con or any kind of uh, to it. Um, other than that, um, I love this brand so much. I love the ingredients. I love what it's done for my skin. Prop, 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 prop. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. I apologize. I know this video is a bit long, but, and this is my first, you know, product review. But, you know, uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Whatever you, whatever kind of comments you guys have, whatever kind of likes, dislikes you have, let me know so I can know in the future what to do, what not to do. Again, this is going to be a journey for me. Um, different things of what I like, what I don't like, different products. Please recommend products to me. Um, I'm going to try my best to do, you know, at least try to post at least twice a week of different products that I use from skincare to hair care. Um, and again, you know, you guys are hopefully going to be on this journey with me. Again, my name is Melissa. You can call me Melissa. You can call me also, a.k.a. Freezy Girl Curls. <laughs> and you guys have yourself a blessed day. Thank you so much for going through this whole video with me. You have yourself a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.